Assalamu alaikum. Now, as we mentioned earlier, we will continue talking and determine the other important trace element to the human in this case, which is the eye. The same thing, as we said, before you start your experiment, you have to be sure that everything is around you are available between reagents and disposables in order to do the experiment itself. You have to be sure, be sure are your reagents ready? You have the reagent. You have the standard, iron standard, are there. You have distilled water that are used as a blank. And also, we have both sample, sample one and sample two in this case. Plus, also, you have to be ready that your tubes are ready and the cuvette are ready. Now, as usual, I said, labeling is very important in this case in order to know the sequence of your tubes. First of all, we would BL represents blank in this case. We will label STD standard. And also we have sample one, which represent here as a male sample. And also we have sample two, or sample two which represent female sample. So it make it easy here to make it labeling. Then I will take now from each one of these samples around 50 microliter of the sample. So I will use the tip, yellow tip. As, you, as we said earlier, you have to fix it very well. Then for the blank, I will take 50 microliter of distilled water and put it in the tube of the blank. Then I have to discard the tip in the biohazard basket. Remove the blank. Then another thing for the <coughs> standard 50 microliter. I put it for in the tube of standard. Go to the samples. About 50 microliter in the sample one, which represent male sample. And I have to remove this one, close. And put the tip and fix it very well. Then, as usual, we have to remix the reagent in order if the sub precipitate are found to be dissolved again to have a homogeneous mixture or homogeneous solution. Then I'll take one ml from the reagent and I'll put it for all tubes, one ml for all tubes. the tips, close the reagent, then I have to mix, it's very important to mix in this case by inversion several times, one, two, three, as we said we can use this cover plastic or can use the parafilm in this case, whatever is available we will use it. After that, I have to incubate for 15 minutes in this case. I will start incubation time. Now, as usual, we have to transfer from the tube to the cuvettes. 
and as usual, you have to have to throw everything in the containers. What is left now is around one minute and fourteen seconds, which is good in this case. And of course, you have to, as usual, as, as we mentioned early, you have to prepare your respect photometers at least 10 minutes before, as, before taking the readings. Now look here, our photometer is ready. The wavelength for the iron is 623. And as usual, as I told you before, you have to clean the cuvettes because if there's some fingerprints, and this is the blank, put it into the blank side, where is the arrow uh, is equal to the smooth side of the cuvettes. Now, let's leave this 25 seconds. After that, we have to adjust, uh, and we have to re be, uh, re uh, prepare our data here for the standard take absorbance, and the sample one represent male sample, and sample two represent female sample. Is it ready now? So we have to adjust spectrometer to zero with the blank. Is ready. Remove this one. Take the standard, the same thing, clean. Put it inside and push our green button. We'll take the reabsorbance is 1095. Go to the sample one, which represent male sample. And press the green button. equal one seven zero the last one bond one three five now we'll go now to three calculations as usual okay now, we did our calculations. As you know, the same equation that we are using each time, absorbance of the sample over the absorbance of the standard multiplied by the concentration of the standard. For the first one, male sample, we put the data 0.17 over 0.095 multiplied by 100 equal 182.1 microgram per deciliter. For the female sample, the same thing, it was 142.1 microgram per deciliter. Now, we have to know, are they are normal or abnormal? We have to go back to and see the normal range for male and female, which, which is in your manual, page number 83. For male, the normal range should be between 59 to 148 microgram per deciliter. Top look here, it's 182. That means abnormal high. That means it has toxic level or some toxicity or, or iron overload. Go to the female. The female from 37 to 145. Here, 142. That means it's normal. It's within normal range. And that, that, this, that's all how you can determine the uric acid and interpret the results.